how can you vote for somebody when morally they don't line up with you, morally they don't line up with God, that you can't also endorse their behavior, their character, and their personality? Okay, that's easy. How many of you in the room work for a company that you don't know the CEO of that company? You work for a corporation, a company where you don't personally know the, the guy at the top or the lady at the top. I worked in the government for several years, and there's a whole structure of people that you take orders from that you, you do what they want you to do because they're the people at the top. So the question, the way you worded it is very important because when things are mutually beneficial, it's very easy for us to overlook things like racism and immorality. We only look for our politicians to be moral leaders because we choose not to be moral leaders. Let's say you work for Walmart. If you work for Walmart, you don't really know if the CEO of Walmart is racist or not. You don't know if the CEO of Walmart is beating his wife. You don't know if the CEO of Walmart is cheating on his spouse or, or is cheating on his taxes or any of those things. You really don't care. I don't know anyone who says the CEO of Walmart got caught cheating on his wife. I'm quitting. I'm not going to feed my family because I can't let the immorality of the CEO of Walmart affect my world. No, when you go to Walmart, you go because the CEO of that company, regardless of where they are morally, has provided a platform where you can prosper. They provided a platform where you can get your needs met, where you can get a mutual benefit. You find this amazing ability, when it's mutually beneficial for you, to overlook those isms. When you are morally perfect, then you can judge the morally imperfect. Until then, you have to look at, does this man play a role in the plan of God for the future of this nation? If the answer is yes, then you are morally obligated to the moral arbiter of the universe, who is God. You are morally obligated to him to support his position for the United States of America.